So we're here with Abdallah Kakut. He's an artist, he comes from Syria, and he currently lives and works in Sweden. He has also passed as a teacher, even here in the Hagebe of Leipzig. And um, he has been a resident in 2020 here in Lia, in August. And, uh, so I would love to start off by your experience here in Lia and uh, what was your connection with Leipzig and uh, yeah, your general experience here, how you perceived it. Yeah, actually I arrived in uh, Leipzig at Lia after the 1st of now. And things were still like a little bit more optimistic than this time. Uh, it was summertime. Uh, even uh, my uh, plan to join Leo was kind of spontaneous one. Because uh, I didn't uh, came at first uh, to Germany to join Leo. I was here, then I joined the program in the summer. Uh, Things were slow at the beginning, uh, uh, but then later uh, ideas start to come, uh, especially when you meet people, when you uh, have the chance more to see the, this place, the Spinerai, and the surroundings, and the surroundings, and to, to meet uh, other artists, and to, uh, to see the city. Uh, and also to follow up with the political events uh, were happening around the world. And, uh, so, all of those little things uh, contributed in a way for my uh, short time residency in Lia. Yeah. Okay. And uh, about your work, you produced this uh, painting. Mm -hmm. And uh, why won't you talk about it? And how is your philosophy and poetic? behind the painting and what's kind of your idea of what art is through a single work. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, actually I produced this painting uh, after several uh, little uh, ones. I produced a collection, little studies, or uh, I would call them paintings, not studies, but uh, little small size art, artworks before this one came. This one came at the very last three days of my residency, actually. I accomplished this in the last three days. And uh, it was a series of little things. Then, uh, usually this is what happened. I start with just emptying my mind, um, clearing up my thoughts. Then things will start to accelerate and uh, then I will have such an embodiment in my artwork. This actually was a kind of sad coincidence that after I made this big fire in the forest composition, that fire broke up all around the world in the uh, like all the continents almost in California, in, in Syria, Lebanon was huge fires eating mm -hmm. all around, and uh, the Fiji uh, camp in. Uh, uh, Greece also. Mm -hmm. This was happened a week after I mm -hmm. made this one. So it was a kind of strange, yes, strange, sad mm -hmm. coincidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was that? Uh, yeah, maybe you, you start to develop some uh, instinct when you follow up, mm -hmm. uh, like new, too much mm -hmm. news. You know, when you just watch too much news. You start mm -hmm. to, to to have it unconsciously. To be, yeah. Uh, I started uh, this one uh, like uh, usually my approach to painting. I want to simplify it as that. It's, I'm concerned about the philosophy of mm -hmm. creation, the philosophy of why I, I would create my artwork. So, uh, what I see as a artwork, meaning quotation marks. Uh, is simply a trace of that experience or what is left from that experience of the artwork. 
So for me, this is just the trace of that artistic experience. Mm -hmm. that, that was the authentic mm -hmm. moment for me. This is just a trace of that, uh, just a record, uh, a changeable record of that experience. So uh, I'm concerned about that more. I'm concerned about the, the viewer mm -hmm. also. Uh, I would usually, I, what I like to do is to leave some space for the viewer where he can uh, make advantage of the, let's call it, the temporality of the artwork. Mm -hmm. The visual artwork, because there's a problem with temporality in visual artworks, especially if you compare to music. Mm. Uh, but this is the dimension where I see temporality mm. is it's when you leave this space for the viewer. When I'm concerned, and I respect the viewer. I want I want the viewer to see to paint with me mm -hmm. to spend time looking, discovering, uh, a time for uh, speculating, for contemplating. Uh, so in order to grasp something I left for him and something for him, also some space, some negative space has been left for the viewer to build his, her, also visual narrative. Exactly. So my, my question is, uh, how do you combine this engagement you have uh, concerning the feeling and the, the viewer, what's the, you know, the dialogue between uh, the viewer and the, the artwork itself? How do you combine, them, combine it with the techniques you, you, you use? Mm -hmm. Is there like something particular about the techniques you use? Uh, yeah, usually, I, actually, uh, I've been experimenting with, with um, techniques for relatively a long time. So uh, this is something that I like. I like to experiment. I like to discover. Like uh, as I said before, I respect the the viewer, so I would make sure that I'm using. At the right medium, and I'm using it. I'm keeping the constancy of, of the painting. I'm keeping the the painting uh, solid. I'm keeping it uh, there. It's like uh, how it's composition. It's like how you are composing a good uh, piece of music, a good orchestrated piece of music. It's not just like some digital sound here or there. It's your just. I'm, I'm having this respect to, uh, in regards to composition. So this is something that uh, usually I think about when I produce. Uh, it's the, that technical compositional aspect of the painting. Mm -hmm. uh, I, just preserving that quality for the viewer uh, would make my day. It would make it easier for both of us to make this dialogue uh, would make it make the, the work more interesting for the viewer mm -hmm. to discover, to question things, to uh, to start to to realize the uh, my approach towards creating uh, this autonomous uh, piece of work uh, or artwork. This autonomous work should be at the same time like uh, claiming its uh, independence from okay. the surroundings mm -hmm. at the same time also uh, delivering this uh, paradoxical game to be also again involved in the surroundings mm -hmm. to be to be uh, a part of, the, of this universe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, at the same time keeping its individuality or this autonomous existence of the painting. Okay. So like your work even uh, in a way uh, excludes uh, yourself as an identity? Uh, yeah, you can say 
so it becomes completely autonomous yeah. in that way. Yeah, in that way, I can say that I'm excluded myself, but also there's something being included in this way, in this creature, in this little <laughs> creation that I, that I make. And also I want this little creation to be adapted also, to be adopted, sorry, by the viewer also. Okay. So we share this creation, this is my invitation for the viewer to share with me this creation, this mood of creation. 